Hey guys, Todd from Lowbrow Customs here again. Uh, today we're going to show you a little improvement we're making to our belt to chain conversion kits all across the board. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are including this lock tab in our kits and we're also changing up our hardware. When you order a belt chain kit, you're going to get a nice hardware pack like this. It's going to come with US made grade eight bolts. And you're also going to get the extra thick flat washers required to do the job. If you already have one of our kits and you would like to purchase the lock tab separately, we're going to have those available on the website. And we're just going to give you a quick little demo of installing the rear sprocket lock tab and the hardware kit, hardware pack. Woo, let's get her going. One of the main reasons we're going to include a new hardware pack in all of our kits is because according to Harley Davidson, there's been uh, different service bulletins over the years about not reusing the factory bolts after they've been removed. Uh, a very long time ago when I worked at Harley, it said you could reuse them once. Well, then they changed their minds years later and said, don't use them at all. Done. One time use, done. Uh, one other thing that's very important is you want to inspect your threaded holes. Make sure they are clean. There's no residue from any of the previous Loctite that was used when installing a pulley or sprocket on this hub. You want to make sure they're clean. If there's any residue, grab yourself a tap. Uh, 7 16 14 is the size and just run a tap through them, clean them out. So we have verified that our holes are nice and clean and we're ready to go ahead and install our sprocket. On our kits, you will notice on the rear sprocket, there is a flat side and a side with a little ridge. Ridge will face up. Additionally, this is a later model bike, so it's going to have a 2.2 center lip. So pay attention when, if you're ordering one of our kits for your motorcycle, if you got your wheels from your buddy's later year model and you order it for your year bike, you may get the wrong size center hole. So a uh, real quick and easy way to figure it out is just to measure this lip on the wheel. Okay, so now we're going to put the washers on first. because the lock tab has to go on top of those. And incidentally, anytime you're using washers, you want to see if they have a flatter side. And I can plainly see that this side has kind of a little rounded edge there where this side is very sharp. So we're going to put those all facing down. And we're going to simply put our lock tab on there either way around, doesn't matter. And then we're going to put a couple drops of red Loctite on the bolts. Like so. And this is not a case of more is better. You don't need to glob the heck out of it. That should do it. Like so. And we're gonna use this ratchet to run them down into there. Actually, we can run them by hand because our threads are nice and clean. That'll probably be a little faster. It is imperative that you torque these in a cross pattern. We'll show you that in a sec here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just snug these up. So when I get my torque wrench on here, we're not using a really long torque wrench to run them down the rest of the way. 
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our torque wrench. And for this particular model, the torque spec on these is gonna be 50 to 55 foot-pounds. Please refer to your service manual for your year, make, and model, caster laced wheel, whatever the case may be. You always wanna double check that kind of stuff. And there we have her set. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five in a cross pattern. No, don't use your air impact as a torque wrench. That was 50, we'll go ahead and crank it up another five just for the heck of it because that is the spec. It is a range. I'm guessing it'll already be done. Yep, she's already good. Doesn't hurt to double check your work. Okay, torqued. All right, I grabbed a pair of uh, channel locks because I think that'll probably be the best plan of action. I'm putting one edge of the channel lock against the bolt and the other down to the tab and I'm just bending those up against the flats on the bolts. Like so. Don't be overly concerned if they're not perfectly lined up with a flat. And there you have it. All set. Let's get this wheel back on the bike. Spring's gonna be here soon. Time to go for a ride.